Justice Collective, a group of faculty and staff at Towson University, called for this anti-Trump protest Monday afternoon. For the past few days, I've been listening to student stories, Muslim American students who are afraid for their parents and families, black students who have shared stories of the KKK lashing out at family members. Many speakers expressed frustration. Donald Trump's presidency, his whole entire run, has been uh, anti-black, anti-Islam, anti-Islam, um, anti anti-queer, anti-woman, uh, the whole way throughout the whole entire campaign. As a woman, I'm really scared because I rely on Planned Parenthood, and I stand with Planned Parenthood. I need their services. While protesters packed Freedom Square, not everyone necessarily agreed with the focus. We need to really emphasize a smooth transition of power and democracy. And by interfering with that, we're pretty much going against the, our values as Americans, what we were founded on. The protest also became about racial issues on campus. Oh, there was um, white students that was falling around, black students calling each other racial slurs. There was another woman who allegedly assaulted someone for wearing a um, Make It in America Great hat. Towson University police confirmed these incidents and arrested a female student for assault in one case. In the other, police say they're still looking to identify the students involved in the racial slur incident. Towson University says it will not tolerate racism or discrimination of any kind. The walkout did happen during the school day. The university says it lets teachers decide what to do about class time during the protest, but I'm told most students were between classes. Reporting in the newsroom, Lacey Griffith, WBAL-TV 11 News. Uh, Lacey